G'day! In today's video, I'm going to be replacing the display on this Google Pixel 4. So, to, I've had it on my blue heat pad here at between 75 and 80 degrees now for about the last five minutes just to heat up the back of the phone. I'm going to be using some isopropyl and a thin metal pry tool to get that back off. I want to disconnect the battery, disconnect another cable for the, I believe, the rear facing microphone, and then I want to disconnect the screen over here. From there, I'll make an attempt of removing the front, and hopefully we can get this done in a reasonable time frame. So to begin with, I'm gonna wet my metal pry tool, and slide that in, and just work around the outer perimeter. So you don't wanna to jab too far in, just in case you hit various cables and connectors, but we'll soon find out what's there for sure in just a second. Okay. Will Miss the Burns had done it. The power plant had won it. With Roger Clemens clucking all the while. Mike Sosha's tragic ill. So now with that open, I'm gonna take off the bracket down here. We'll zoom you guys in. And we look to be using a torque screw on here. I'll just try out what I've got on hand. That one looks to be a T4. And that is undoing it. Brilliant. There we go, so that's now removed. So I'll put that aside just for now. Next, we want to disconnect the battery, which I believe is under this bracket here. So we'll use the T4 again. seem to be slightly smaller. I'm guessing it may be a T3. Nope. So one slightly different screw just to keep you on your toes. So looking at my collection of screw tips. What would we go with? T2, too small. T3. Anyway, just loosely on there. I'll keep that out for a minute because I will be needing that shortly. We do have one more T5, uh, T4. down, lift the bracket off, now I believe, I'm going to guess this is the battery, but I don't think so, I'd say this one here is the battery. So I'll disconnect that with my nail. But I will just go double check that. And now I was correct with my original thought, this one here is the battery. Disconnect that, put this connector back on, disconnect here, and now I want to turn around and focus on the front of the phone. Now looking at my particular replacement part, I do have the mesh up the top here. I'm looking at it. I'm slightly disappointed with the line that is along here on my replacement screen. I can't really get you guys to see that. 
Might be able to see it just there. Anyway, I'll proceed. I do have my mesh there, so I don't have to be too cautious about the existing mesh. And now I'm going to use the exact same technique as the back. I'll be using pin pry tool, isopropyl alcohol. Slide in the groove and just work your way around the perimeter. Don't be too concerned about digging into the phone just yet. We'll just do a couple of laps first and see if we can remove the glass in one single piece. Now on the second part turn, or second attempt, we can get a little bit more determined with it. There we go. Yeah, the connection's on this side, so... Aha, there we go. As you can see, we've completely separated the OLED display. And now I'm going to work my way back this way. As you can see, the display cable just got torn. That's perfectly fine. I'm not too concerned about that at all. Okay. Now I will need to remove the adhesive that is already here. Now we will be making room by disconnecting a few of these cables and feeding the video cable back through from this from this side. I'll put this down. So I'm going to keep removing the adhesive that was there from the factory as it will be getting glued in a bit later. It's weird, like, being how glued together it is, the amount of extra dirt and grime that just gets into the, between the framing of the phone. Yeah, that's working a little bit better than me grinding off my fingertip. Radio. So from here, I'm going to turn the heat off my heat pad. I'm going to remove the backing off the replacement display. It also does have a slight adhesive here. And now I'll proceed to put a slight thin film around it. So in this case, I'm going to use some B or S7800. You can use some B7000. It will all do the similar job. This is the only reason I'm really choosing this one is because the thin nozzle on it. And it's also already black, so it kind of blends in a bit better. A 
I've been the body sticks on here as well. I don't know how much adhesive I should use, but if we get enough on the outside of it, we should be pretty right. And then just a little bit on the corners here. That's enough for there. A little bit over here. Tanking you. No worries at all. Right. Uh, keep you going. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Keep me on there. Yep. <laughs> See ya. Right. There we go. Just loosely sit the screen in. Connect up your display connector. Okay, connect, connect, connect. Connect. Now, what I'm gonna do now is just leave this on my heat pad, face down for about five minutes, and then I'll continue. So that should get the adhesive a nice good bond to begin with and we should be right from there. I'm also going to throw this iPhone on here just to heat up as that's going to be my next job to do after I've finished doing this Google Pixel 4. So now we've been on the heat pad, heated up, stuck down. Now from here I want to reconnect the battery. And now it's a matter of reinstallation. So put the shield back on. Also, I recommend putting a back cover back on as it will get tacky sitting on the heat pad. Now, I'll zoom you guys in again. There we go. So using the T4 screwdriver, and the screws up here. There we go, no. There we go, now I'm spinning. And down here. So think of like a triangle, or well, the top and the bottom screws are the T fours with the T3s being the two middle inner, which are smaller screws. So it's up to your own discretion if you do replace the adhesive on the outside. Typically I find it to be perfectly fine just to redo it like that or leave it like that. And then we're also a T, there we go. Now, if you're unsure of the locations of the screws, just do them very delicately and very slowly until you start to feel tension. If the screw's still sticking out, you probably have it in the wrong spot. If you torque it down ridiculously without knowing where, if it's in the correct location, then you probably will damage something. <laughs> there we go. We're all good. Next up, the other side. We want to connect here, connect that up. And now I want another cover. So these shields are mainly just to stop the phone from essentially being dropped and having them disconnect, which I've seen a few phones with them disconnected that have been dropped especially on iPhones where, where lazy technicians don't put the shields back on, they get dropped and the battery connector, connector disconnects or something to that effect. 
my usual method is if it comes out of the phone, it probably needs to go back in the phone. So it's always worthwhile just reinstalling it. So far, I'm not too, I'm a bit on the fence with how tacky this adhesive has become. Actually, no, that'd be okay. If you're in doubt, potentially just put some more frame adhesive just around the outer perimeter of it, and you should be right from there. But right now, being this is going back into a hard cover, it's going to clamp it down and lock it into position. So I don't really see that being too much of an issue with it being tacky at the moment. So pretty much reinstall the back cover. And from here, you should hopefully have replaced the display in your Google Pixel 4. Granted, there are alternative methods where you do have to remove the main board, but if you're delicate enough, you should be able to do it without having to remove that board and will save considerable amount of time with the repair. So I hope that helps, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.